Hey everyone, how's it going? If you're new, I'm Danielle LaRocca and I'm here to talk to you. So today we are going to be doing a review, demo, first impressions of the Balm Cosmetics. I did this look creating a lot of the Balm products. So if you wanna see how I did it, then go ahead and stay tuned. And please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. I originally upload once a week, but now in 2020, I'm gonna be trying to upload twice a week. So if you wanna see more beauty products and reviews and tutorials, then go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification and stick around because I will be using the Balm products in this video. Okay, so I have my bag of the Balm products. Um, so I'm gonna try to start from the beginning, you know, all the steps to do my face and whatever I don't have in the bag, I um, have products in front of me that I'll use in place of that. Um, so the first thing in my bag that I saw was the Balm Shelter and this is a tinted moisturizer. I have never tried this before, but super cute packaging. I love all like the pinup girls. This is what the bottle looks like. And I, I just washed my face. I don't have any moisturizer or anything on. Um, so let's see, that's what it looks like. Okay, it smells like sunscreen. <laughs> I mean, it feels nice, it feels lightweight. Um, smells like sunscreen. Doesn't have any other scent to it. Um, okay, so, so far so good. So that was the moisturizer. I don't think I have a primer in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ColourPop uh, primer. This is the All Star Matte and Blur Primer. This is what it looks like. So it's nice and light. And I don't think I have a foundation in there either. Um, let's see what I do have. So I have a overshadow, and this is kind of like a glitter. So an eyeshadow topper. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's cute. Let's see what the shade name is. Work is overrated, mineral eyeshadow. So I'm gonna try that over my eyeshadow today. And then I have Balm Beach Long Wearing Blush. So it opens like this. And then we have Time Balm Concealer. Time Balm. This is light medium. Yeah, I have Mad Lash Black Mascara, so that's perfect. And then I have Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Um, and I will do, ooh, but I will do swatches of these when we get to the lips. And then I also have Stain and Shine Creamy Lip Stain. That's what the bottle looks like. Um, but that's the color, so I'll do a swatch for that. And then I have this one. And then, ooh, that's uh, very bright. I will do swatches of everything. So now that we did our moisturizer and my primer, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation off camera just to make this video go by a little bit quicker. Um, so again, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter foundation and I am in the shade um, Medium 85. Um, so I'm gonna do this off camera and then I will be right back. Okay everybody, so I got my foundation on and so now next step is the concealer. So I'm gonna go in with Time Bomb Concealer and this is again in the shade Light Medium. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. Get it all in there. Thank you. 
let's go ahead and see how this blends out. I'm actually really excited. This looks like it matches my skin pretty well. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. And since I don't have any setting powder in the bundle, I'm going to go ahead and take my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Translucent, put some in the cap, and I'm going to set my concealer that I just did. So it works really nicely with the Laura Mercier, which is amazing because I use this powder all the time. I always like when products seem to work really well together. Okay, so I look all nice and blended out. Actually, let's try this blush first. Um, so this is the Balm Beach. This is what it looks like. I believe it's in the shade Warm It Up. Okay, so that it actually looks really pretty. Yes, I like that. So let's go into my bronzer. I'm going to be going in with my Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade 104 Tantastic. And this is what it looks like. I love it for the mirror, it's huge. Um, then it's got a big pan size, which is amazing. So So I have that eyeshadow topper, and then I have three lipsticks, and then mascara. So no eyeshadow except for the topper. So I'm going to go in with my uh, Fenty Beauty eye primer. So I just always put that on my eyes, and I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it in. And then I figured since this um, shadow topper was on like the pinker side, um, so this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna just tap this into here and see what the shade looks like. Um, if you can kind of see that, it's like a pinky, purpley, kind of like a taupe color. So it's very like, iridescent and pink so definitely a topper it's really pretty though it's kind of like it looks like a purpley champagne color which i have the perfect eyeshadow to do with this so i'm going to be going in with the color pop it's a princess thing palette so they have a lot of like pinks and purples really pretty this will be a nice light look i'm going to go in with the shade juju this top pink one that i've used the shit out of <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go in with the shade Grumpy. It's like right next to that one. So right underneath what we just did. Actually, we'll put it on the whole lid.
Okay, let's test out that topper. So I have the product in the cap. Ooh, that's pretty. So pretty. That looks really good. Um, yeah, this might be my new favorite product. And the shade of this is work is overrated. Super cute. Okay, so I want to put something on the bottom of my eyes because I just, I have to line the bottom of my eyes. So let's go in with the same um, It's a Princess Thing palette and we will take the color Beast down here. So now I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my eyeliner and then I'll come back and we will test out the mascara, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So I did my eyeliner and I always use the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 pencil in the shade Zero. Um, and then I also went ahead and did my eyebrows and I do um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Powder Duo and I'm in the shade dark brown. Um, and I always apply that with my Benefit eyebrow brush. Um, let's see if I can still read it. This is the Luxie uh, 215 small angle brush. I bought this a long time ago. I don't even know if they still have this, but it works really well. I love using this for my eyebrows. Um, and then also a newer product that I picked up from ColourPop um, is the <clears throat> Brow Boss Gel. And I just kind of, it looks like this, it's clear, and you just kind of put it on and feather out your eyebrows and it gives it like a little bit of a textured look, which I really like it. I think it enhances my brows a lot, which eyebrows are super hard. Um, so now that we have our eyebrows and eyeliner, let's try out this mascara. Here, the Mad Lash Black Mascara. Go to crazy lengths. I love that. Um, curved wand for volume is what it says. I take it out of the packaging and this is what it looks like. And I also love the Anastasia little round mirror for when I put on my mascara. And a little trick, never pump your mascara, always twist it because it tends to dry out quicker if you pump it. So this is what the wand looks like. So let's go ahead and try this on my eyes and still try to be in frame. Oh yeah. Definitely is adding length and it's so far it's separating my lashes. So I've always just been using um, milk makeup the Kush mascara and I mean this is really good so I might have to switch things up a bit it's not clumping it's actually really separating which is really nice except for in the corner there oh, there we go what do you guys think wow yeah <laughs> this is bomb Wow, I'm loving this. I feel like my right eye is always more difficult and it clumps a little more for some reason. Maybe I have more eyelashes on my right side than I do on my left side. I don't really know, but so far so good. Let's see how easy it is to do the bottom lashes. Yeah, wow, that's really pretty. And then the bottom lashes. Yep, looking good. Okay, I'm sold. I'll give my final thoughts at the end though on everything that I've used, but I like this already. <laughs> Let's move on to the lipsticks and then I think we're done. So um, this first one, 
That's what this looks like. Again, this is the Creamy Lip Stain, Stain and Shine. This is what it looks like. We'll do a swatch here. It's pretty. It's like a pinky, it's like a pink color. And then the next one is what this box looks like. And this is the Creamy Lip Stain, Stain and Shine. Um, maybe it's like what she's saying is the shade name. So this one was Chow, and this one was Konnichiwa. Um, don't quote me on that, I'm not really sure. I will try to put everything in the description below. Um, but here is the next one. Wow, very pink. And then there is the Meet Matte Hues. And this has the shade on it. This says Faithful. And this is what that looks like. Long lasting liquid lipstick. So I love liquid lipsticks. And this is what this looks like. Oh yeah. I think I wanna try that one. I just, I find that liquid lipsticks for me work better than stains. I'm not much of a stain person. This smells really good. Mm, it, what is that smell? It's kind of like a, not cinnamon, but like, like a, a berry or, the applicator feels really nice. So this is like a rough swatch, you guys. <laughs> Don't beat me up. I would not normally wear this color, but the, I'm loving this look right now. This is really nice. Wow, yeah, my skin looks amazing. Okay, so let's go over the final thoughts. <laughs> let's start with the Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer. Yeah, this was a home run for me. Um, I never thought I would like tinted moisturizers. I like this one. I don't feel oily. Um, it went perfectly with the rest of my makeup. Um, highly recommend this. This might have stole the show for me today, honestly. Um, the next product was the concealer. This shade was perfect for me and I will continue to use this. I loved how creamy it was. It was easily blendable. Um, it pretty much perfectly matched my concealer to a T. So, Highly recommend the Balm, or Time Balm Concealer from the Balm. Um, the blush, um, it was a little bit light for me, um, but with this look, it was perfect. Um, you can just tell enough that I'm wearing blush. It doesn't, it doesn't look overpowering. It felt nice and smooth and powdery. Um, it was easily blendable, so I give this a thumbs up as well. Um, the next product was the eye topper. Like, look how pretty that is. Really pretty. I'm going to have to try some of their other shades. Um, but again, this one was Work is Overrated. This is what it looked like. Little eye topper. It's called Overshadow the Sex Pots. So, yeah. I love that. Um, the mascara, another home run for me. This is the Mad Lash Black Mascara. Yeah, this is, look at those lashes. Those look really good. You know, I don't typically wear false lashes. Um, I, I do wear them on occasion, like if I'm going out or if it's like a holiday or something like that, but on as an everyday look, I don't really like to because my eyes get sensitive and they feel heavy. Um, and then the next day they sometimes get a little irritated. Um, so I like a good lengthening and volumizing mascara. Um, and I recommend this as well. These products are just a home run for me. Um, and then last we're left with the shades. Um, so this was this one, really pretty. I will be using this a lot. Um, and then I swatched these two. I, I will be using the nude as well. Um, this is a little bit more my speed for everyday use. And then I will probably 
try this and see how it works. This watch was really pretty. Um, I just find that for me, stains are a little bit more streaky um, and they're extremely hard to get off. So I will have to test this later, maybe in another video and um, I'll see how that works. But so I wanted to say thank you so much um, to my brother-in-law's girlfriend, Monique. She works over at The Bomb and she actually gave me all of these products for Christmas. So thank you so much, Monique, uh, if you're watching. I really appreciate it. Home run on these products. I'm super excited and I will be purchasing more. Um, and using the ones that you gave me. They're amazing. Um, I also wanted to shout out a friend of mine, um, Melody May Sharp. She is a, a vlogger and she lives all the way in the UK. Um, she's super sweet and so she does kind of like a day in the life blogs. It's really cool. You should check her out. I will link her uh, description and everything in my description below so you can check out her channel as well on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see. Give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know which bomb products you have, um, which ones have maybe that I use that you haven't tried yet that you want to try. Um, just let me know what you think of this look. I think it turned out really good. So I really appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.